quick an answer to try and stay in this game, you know, pack out that defence. I know viewers might want to maybe hear that, but I'm expecting that. But on the flip side, I'm not expecting this downside to stand for that. I think they have a strong running power. They're at last couple of weeks, I'd imagine, a training after that, that Division 2 uh, or after that Division 3 defeat. I think it's going to really, really have ramped up for them, and they're really not going to take that as a that, that, that is a that is an opportunity. Andy McEntee, oh, Sheen, right there where you were this day, week ago, and he'll be thinking, we can do this. When you're standing there before a game, you always have belief, you know, until that ball's thrown in. And, and you know, what, what's your reaction to the first couple of balls? Can you win the first couple of balls? You know, there's a bit of a, a bit of a schmazzle already. I wouldn't say schmazzle, but there's a bit of... Let, uh, let me stop you there. Out, yep. I'm sure that's got to do with the timing of Philly McMahon going across the pitch. Thomas <laughs> Niblock will have a much better view of that. So it is time for the first of the Ulster Senior Football Quarterfinals down hosting Antrim here in Park Isler in the company of Philly McMahon and your match commentator, 